He was verified, blue check mark. He had 3.5 million fans, and he invested over 300,000 in ads at Facebook to get those 3.5 million fans. This is basically a job for him, a livelihood. And yet, when Facebook decided to take down all those bad actors, here's his score on reviews, 4.7 out of 5 with over 3,000 reviews. Then it goes on to explain that Facebook never once warned him, didn't tell him that he was considered a right-wing news or other pages, they loved taking his money for the advertising and then all of a sudden he turns it on and guess what? The website, the Facebook page has been closed. It has been terminated. There it is. Your page has been unpublished. Facebook decided that he was a right-wing radical that needed to be silenced. Here's a man who gave his legs and probably functionality of other parts of his body in the cause of freedom and Facebook's response was thank you very much for your service to give me the right to unpublish your page. I guess only Facebook has rights not we the people. Come November if, if stuff like this doesn't turn your stomach if stuff like this doesn't explain that Democrats have nothing to run on, nothing to offer, and as a result now conservatives nationwide face an absence of conservative voice and opinion. The only reason this channel is allowed to play is because it's too new to be funded, so I can, I guess, play as long as I want to, but as soon as it's monetized, watch out below. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have no other reason to vote, if you have no other reason to vote, please go to the polls on November the 6th and make a vote for Brian Coughledge. Vote conservative and let's make sure that Congress and the conservatives and the president have the power to change this and stop it. It's not right to take this family and destroy their life, especially when that gentleman gave so much for his country's freedoms, he should be able to come home and enjoy them. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll all take the time to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.